Trying to get inside uh, the, uh, the idea of what it's like when you guys try to move a guy and, and, and move him. I, obviously, you've just done this recently with Donovan, uh, yeah, with Donovan Miles. Um, just talk about that. How does that work? Is that just one coach saying to another coach, "Hey, let me try him here," or is it is it a mutual decision? It definitely has to be a mutual decision. You know, um, you know, it's one that the head coach uh, talked to the defensive staff, and you know, just trying to see that kind of body. You know, the, the, the bigger blocking body, and um, you know, just trying to figure out what position um, has enough depth that we can pull from that. And Add to the running back room. So, and uh, you know, Donovan was the guy. He's an older guy, very unselfish. You know, a guy that's played in a lot of games that that that, that understands football. You know, sometimes it's harder to take a younger guy that's trying to figure out you know what's going on. But Donovan was a guy that's played in some games, and uh, you know, I think his, his the best opportunity for him to get on the field was playing on offense. So, uh, he's had a great attitude. You know, understands what he's watching on tape. Uh, comes in and watch the extra film. Comes in and meets with me. Uh, you know, 30, 40 minutes early every day. So he's a guy that understands and, and, and just wants to be on the field his senior year. I'm guessing it's more popular to try guys at different places in the spring than the fall. But no, no, no doubt, no doubt. You know, and, and I tell you what, it, it's, it's a great. Uh, it, it, it's great that it happened during the spring. You know, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that a kid decided he didn't want to play. But you know, I, I, I think if it had to happen, spring is a great time for it to happen because we had 15 practices to figure it out. And Donovan came during the early part of camp, so he's been able to get some really good practices under his belt. Um, we'll be able to watch his mistakes on film and then correct those things throughout the summer. Is that something where you went to Dana and said, "Hey, I lost a guy here. I need another one. Where can we get one?" Or did you approach? You know? Everybody sees it. You know, um, you know, Dana's the offensive coordinator, so he understands the need for that position. And uh, you know, on the field, as soon as it happened, or, or, or excuse me, not on the field, but as soon as it happened, where he says, "Hey, this is not for me," as an offensive staff, we say, "Hey." We're gonna have a big hole. We gotta fill with that position. So, um, you know, it was something that he, you know, ha had to make the final decision on. But I was, you know, very excited about having another guy uh, uh, to come to my meeting. Room. Lastly, I guess you, you also have to have the player on board with the move. And and how much of, of being a coach is trying to get a guy to buy in to the position change? You know, uh, like I said, the, the, the great thing was that Donovan was excited. Donovan just wants to get on the field. He's an older guy. You know, he's been around here a long time. And I think he saw that his best uh, chance of getting on the field was coming to offense. So. Uh, didn't take any persuading. Sometimes it does, but in this case, you know, this was a kid that understood, you know, that this was the best thing for the team and also the best opportunity for him. So you know, he's been a, a great addition, working hard, and I look forward to working with him, you know, for the next four or five practices. You, you said this was a chance for him to get on the field. I mean, probably so, sooner than he may have even thought with Ryan Clark down right now. I mean, he's, I assume he's probably taking all the reps at that spot right now. He is right now. You know, it's uh, him and uh, 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 Nate Magineric, you know, so. Uh, you know, but right now, again, Donovan's getting most of the reps. And again, that's what happens in football. You know, you you, you, you just have to be ready. You never know when your chance is going to come. And, you know, it's a blessing in disguise. You know, we know what Ryan Clark can do, you know, but the fact that Donovan's there and getting most of the reps is definitely going to help us in the fall just in case something happens. So Donovan's working hard. You know, he's making mistakes like, like uh, you know, you would expect a guy uh, to be playing offense for the first time. But overall, it's, he has a great attitude. Uh, he's a physical kid, so there's no doubt he's going to be uh, be a guy that we're glad we have in the fall. I would imagine, having gone through the strength and conditioning program for this many years, that he physically is prepared. What what are the things he has to learn, though, mentally to, to be able to, you know, be in the position where he's taking all these reps right now? I'll tell you what, I, I, I've uh, I've uh, you know taught him the fundamentals of what he has to do, the X and O's part of what he has to do. He's a smart kid, he understands that. Now it just goes to him just being a physical guy. And linebackers and fullbacks are pretty much the same kind of guy, same kind of attitude. Mm -hmm. downhill tough physical guys punch he already has those things so you know just just with him learning the X and O's the fundamentals having that natural punch that he has as a football player now it just comes with confidence him just being confident that he knows what he's doing and now he can play faster the more he gets reps you had Ryan carrying the ball before he got hurt is Donovan gonna carry the ball some no no <laughs> it's a simple answer simple